Zer is in the hangar in the tower and he is currently selling Vigilance Wing. So if you guys don't know, Vigilance Wing is really good. Highly suggest you scoop it up. Uh, this weapon fires a five round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. And then for the last one, last stand, improved weapon performance and greatly increased uh, recovery when its wielder is the last living member of so this is really good for trials obviously this was made for trials but if you guys don't have this i highly suggest you pick this up the catalyst makes it even better it makes it uh into an auto firing so that's even worse so i suggest people pick this one up it's really good that's pretty good uh ornaments as well if you guys have any uh for the hunters we have shards of galanor which i think the stats are they could be better definitely but you don't really want anything too crazy on shards of galanor considering you ne you should never have this on all the time these should be uh i have my super i'm just gonna pop them and then bring, bring them out so uh i mean it has pretty good mobility pretty good recovery discipline and, and intellect are pretty high that's pretty weird but overall i think i think these are okay like if you don't have shards of galanor you might as well pick it up if you guys don't know hits and kills with blade barrage will return super energy after the super ends the only unfortunate part is not only is the super regen pretty shitty but the actual regeneration only grants you up to 50 percent of super so at this point it's like uh eh, like i wouldn't use them personally just because just because uh middle tree solar is not like the best uh, aside from like certain builds that people do and even then they don't use shards of galador so i don't know uh i love this i love this exotic but more so because of how it looks and just because of how how it used to be for titans you have antaeus wards which is pretty filthy uh pretty good resilience shitty recovery uh strength is okay i don't know uh these are not the best uh improved slide sliding after sprinting for a short time reflects incoming projectiles these were busted at one point um i still think they're really strong it's just that people don't want to use them anymore because you actually have to learn how to use these uh highly suggest if, if titans you if you don't have this definitely pick it up it's really good you definitely slide into like corners and be really safe because again this basically reflects anything that's shot at you so for that reason alone i would highly suggest it if you're trying to go really ape but if you're not into that then i mean still pick them up you might never know and then last but not least, uh, Karnstein Armlets. Uh, melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. These are okay. I mean, the mobility is a little too high for my for my choosing, but recovery is... Uh, resilience and recovery is okay. This win's pretty good. <laughs> if I were you, I would probably just bump this up to the to 20 for recovery, and then I'd probably be, would be happy with this. The only thing is I don't use card scenes that much, so for me, I'm just kind of like whatever. But again, Warlocks, if you don't have this, might as well pick it up. Uh, you might never know. And for the rolls, we have a True Prophecy with Opening Shot and Demolitionist. And I... So I would pick this up if I was doing a grenade build in, Death, in, uh, in Crucible. <laughs> I think that would be pretty fire because opening shot obviously helps you get that first shot. But demolitionist, not only will you be able to get more grenades out with demolitionist, but let's say someone's trying to like, like you lose your, you waste your, all your ammo, and then someone comes up, you can just throw your grenade if you have it, and once you throw your grenade, it reloads your weapon. So that's also bypassing the really lo slow uh, reload speed that 120s usually have. So I would pick this up, which I probably will do. Next one is 7th Seraph Officer Revolver. This one's pretty foul. Like, four times a charm and high impact reserves for pretty, pretty nutty. I know a lot of people are going to be like, why are you wasting your time getting this? Well, if you guys don't know, hunters have an exotic that basically make hand cannons really good. And the, this one right here, if I remember correctly, is like the most high damaging one you can get. So hunters definitely pick this up because uh, with uh, Lucky Pants, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking disgusting. Uh, Seven Seraph VY7, I would say just like, if you don't have it, might as well pick it up. But if you do have it, I mean, there's nothing special here that's like immediately going to want to grab your attention. To be fair, this SMG is not like the best ever. So the only reason you would pick this up is for the Warmind Cells. But even then, Warmind Cells are kind of nerfed. But you might never know. If you don't have it, might as well. Uh, Wishbringer, you have Threat Detector, Moving Target. I'm not even going to waste my time looking at that. Long Shadow, Field Prep, and Moving Target. I mean, this is probably like a good PvE, PvP uh, sniper. 
I just probably wouldn't waste my time. I have other better ones than this. So that's why I'm like okay with it. Uh, Steel Sibyl, Tireless Blade on Guard, gross. The third Axiom, Surplus and Unrelenting, gross. So that's the weapons. Uh, Hunters, we... Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck? Um... Oh, that recovery is low, bro. But damn, that mobility and discipline is pretty fucking good. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good, obviously. This one's okay as well. Uh, damn, this one's... I mean... Mm, I don't know. Well, I'm picking it up either way. I would get this just in case you don't have anything better. But this is pretty good so far. Uh, Hunters, we definitely want high mobility and high recovery. And discipline doesn't hurt. Although a lot of other people will probably say high intellect would be better here. Uh, either or, honestly. I like the grenade a lot. Uh, this doesn't matter. Uh, Kyro, so... Oh, shit. Okay. This is just a per pure grenade build at this point. Uh, I didn't want to pick that up. Fuck. That's not good. The, everything is good except the boots. The boots is not good. Also, why the fuck are you selling the same thing as last week, bro? What the fuck? Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Let's look at. Oh wait. Obviously, I'll have all the titans and warlock after after the hunter one. So yeah. Am I recording? <laughs> yes. Okay. For titans, we have the Kairos function gauntlets. Uh, oof. and for titans, we have uh, pretty good resilience. Not gonna lie. Actually, really good resilience. Unfortunately, uh. Recovery is pretty low, but I mean, I would make these work. Uh, they're not the best. They don't definitely have arms that are better than this. Uh, not good either. So for Titans specifically, I always look for high resilience, high recovery, high discipline, high intellect or high strength uh, with discipline. I'm sorry, with recovery and resilience being like the two that I really look at the most, uh, just because uh, I can make discipline or intellect work either or it doesn't really matter. So I'm not liking this already. Uh, even worse. Wow. Ah, I hate this. I mean, you'll have one on resilience, recovery, and discipline, assuming you put one in recovery. Uh, so hold on. This is what I'm talking about. So this right here. Uh, you'll have 10. You have, I mean, I shouldn't say this is bad because, like, at the end of the day, this could be the, the uh, stat rotation that you need to complete something. But it's very unlikely for me. And boots, I don't like this either at all. Um, Titans, I'm sorry. You guys didn't get anything good, in my opinion. For the Warlocks, we have the... Mm, that's way too much mobility for a Warlock. So that's, that's a note for me, dog. Uh, ooh, ooh, this is strong. Uh, Y'all should pick this up. I'm Thanks picking this shit. This is good. High recovery, high intellect. You definitely want to see these two. And discipline, you can get it up to a 17. Or if you want, uh, you can get a resilience up to a 16. Either or, I would probably do discipline. But damn, these are really good. What the fuck? Man, Warlocks, y'all got it. Y'all got a good. Y'all got a good. Uh, fuck, I'm, 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 I'm super jealous. This is good. Uh, helmet. Uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if it's better than the one I already have. I'm going to pick it up just, just in nine, case. But uh, a 12 resilience is not bad. Recovery at a, nine, at a 9 is not bad considering you can bump it up to a 19. And uh, discipline at 20 is already pretty dope. This one. This one's actually pretty good as well. What the fuck? I'm sorry, Titans. Y'all got dicked. But uh, this one's pretty good as well. Low, re low, low resilience. But at the end of the day, dude, that recovery and intellect will go up to a 20 once you masterwork this. And then 15 for discipline. And if you want, you can bump the discipline up a little bit more. Yeah, I fuck with it. Yeah, this is pretty good. <clears throat> so now that everyone's done, let's look at the exotic engram real quick. Ooh, ridiculous. I don't, I can't look at it. What did I get though? I'll tell you guys if it's garbage or not. Okay, so let's see what I got. Uh, oh, fuck. High mobility. Very high mobility. What the fuck? Um, recovery is actual dog shit, though. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll see, because I think the other Omni Omniculus that I have is pretty dog water as well. Uh, actually, no. Very, very much better than the one I already have. Okay, that's unfortunate. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments below. I will be having the... 
deserve fa fashion challenge like not after this video because last week it, it took me a little longer to make it but we'll see uh cards <laughs> warlocks i'm sorry card scenes is not going to be that good to fashion with but titans and hunters is going to be a lot of fun using you guys so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys later